Hello everyone, the Cat Protector Noel Rosen here, and I hope everyone had a good holiday. Uh, it was a little bit of relaxing, but uh, now it's time to get back to business. And I thought I would get out my thoughts about all of the anti-cop protests that have been going on across the United States. As many of you know, I am on the opposite side, the one that supports law enforcement in this country, supports the men and women that put on that uniform, and will work to keep our city you know, and our streets safe and our community safe. So I appreciate their service, and as many of you know, I've also started a movement called Rally for LE, which supports law enforcement, supports the men and women in law enforcement, basically trying to show those that, well, wear the uniform, go out and patrol our streets to keep us safe. I wanted to, to them to know that I care and that there are others like me that care about them. Anyway, I've had a chance to actually get out some of my thoughts here, so it saddens me to see and it angers me to see all of the anti-cop rhetoric, all of the uh, stuff that's been going on. Like we had two NYPD officers assassinated by one of these anti-cop people. I don't even know if you want to call them a people. And of course one of the people that really is sitting on the sidelines but really instigating a lot of this stuff is Al Sharpton. Sharpton, you deserve to be in jail and or prison for all the riots and all of the mess that you have instigated. The blood of some of these officers is on your hands. Okay? You're a race baiter, you're a charlatan, you're an opportunist, you are uh, a false prophet, pretty much you're no man of God because you've preached a lot of hate and all you've done is cause a whole bunch of trouble. Yes, blood is on your hands. Also in New York, the blood on his hands is, is Mayor de Blasio. And he's pretty much turned his back on the NYPD. These are the people that, well, keep your community safe, Mayor. But you fought, saw fit to kind of join with these anti-cop protesters. And, well, we also have Obama. He takes a vacation from all of this mess. And... He's sitting back, you know, some people have said that he's one that's pulling the strings. We've also got Holder in the mix. All of these other anti-cop people, it's just a mess. And, and the latest incident that has happened took place in Texas City, Texas, where, the, where, where a person shot into a crowd. Yeah, took out a gun, shot in, shot into a crowd. The police respond, they take out the bad guy, and guess what? A group forms and attacks the police. What has happened to our country? We should be backing our police officers. They have answered a, a calling that none of us can understand, none of, uh, that a lot of us can, well, never understand. But they've answered the call to help keep our streets safe and put their lives on the line, and we owe them a big thank you. That's why I started Rally for LE. Um, because I wanted, uh, I wanted the law enforcement members in this country to know that there were people that respect the job they do, respect the work they do, 
respect them, and feel that, well, their lives matter. You know, for all of these anti-cop instigators, a lot of these people that are anti-cop, what are you rallying for against the cops? I mean, where has this hatred come from? Don't listen to guys like Sharpton. Don't listen to all of these other instigators. Use your brains. You know, we've got the Occupy movement is involved in this. We've got former members of the Occupy movement that are calling their group something else. Where has all of this anti-cop stuff come from? I still would like to know because you can't just listen to Al Sharpton. It's coming from other places. That being said, Rally for LE, which I started to support law enforcement, I'm hoping it's going to, the movement that I started, I hope it's going to wash over this country like a tidal wave. Because it's needed. The cops need to know that we care about them. They look after, they look after, well, us, to make sure that we're safe. We should do the same for them and have their backs. That's why I started Rally for LE, which you can find on Facebook and on Twitter. More rallies will come. We intend to keep rallying. We've already had a rally in Phoenix. There was, and that one inspired a rally in Houston. And now Houston, we now have members of Rally for LE in Houston now. We're going to slowly make our way around the country. And we have another rally coming up. Our next one is on January 17th, out in front of Scottsdale Police Department's headquarters, which is at 8401 East Indian School Road. Hope that we can fill the sidewalk, let and you know, just basically pack the front of that building and show the men and women in law of law enforcement in this country, not just the Scottsdale PD but all law enforcement, that we care about them. It's time for us to make our voices heard in support of law enforcement. We need to put a stop to these anti-cop protesters, these instigators. They've gone out. They've caused a lot of trouble. You know, they've destroyed property. They've blocked traffic. All of that nonsense has to be stopped. And so that's why I started Rally for LE. It's our time now. It's the you know the anti-cop instigators, they've had their 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 little party, they've had their pity party. Now it's our turn. So I hope you'll join me for Rally for LE. Become a member we need help I mean obviously I can't do it alone I'm gonna need other people in other cities to join the cause let's support our men and women in law enforcement and to those that have served thank you for your service because I'm one person and I've heard from others that appreciate what the police do for us so I hope you'll come out and you'll rally with us on the 17th of January. And I hope you'll, you'll continue to support us because we've got many more rallies in support of law enforcement planned. We could talk about change, but let's be the change. That's what I intend on being, and I hope you'll join me. So thank you for watching. See you next time.